Okay, so I was thinking what we can do today with you. We only have a 45 minutes, but I think, uh, of course, I want to talk about the basic, and I think Roomba Walk is very, very universal uh, figure, right? And it's actually our base. And it's also very, very good. It will help you for the cha cha and with Roomba. And I'm going to talk about our footwork in, <clears throat> uh, in our Roomba walks about the hip action, which is not only applicable to the Roomba walks, you also can use it in every every single step in your Roomba. And if we have enough time, we'll also discuss about our coordination in our arm and upper body, okay? So we will start with Roomba walk, and we're gonna talk only about Roomba walk, and we start with our footwork. First of all, I would like to uh, see your Roomba walk before we <laughs> actually <laughs> will talk about that. If you can make a circle, I would really appreciate it, yes? <laughs> and we're gonna move, we're gonna move in a circle, that's right. On, of the li on the line of the dance, I will put the music on. Take a, take a space. <laughs> Don't stay too close to your neighbor. Okay. I will help you to start. talk to you uh, about the leg action. Everybody knows that in international Latin we use straight legs, right? And how straight leg it should be? What is straight leg? Straight leg it's the locked knee. That's the straight leg when we walk uh, on the street, right? So for the international rumba we have to pull our knee all the way so we have a locking action in our knee. So it has to be super, super straight locked knee. Yeah, sometimes they're using for the yoga positions, yeah? So it's very hard to balance when your knee is relaxed. You have to lock it down, yeah? And we're also gonna use our standing leg on the leg which we use. It's super, super straight. The leg which you move forward, you have to always flex, right? So we arrive on the leg, it's super, super straight, and we flex the uh, free leg, which is moving us into the next step. That's simple enough, right? But I think the most uh, concentration will go today on our standing leg and how long you should feel that your standing leg is your standing leg. Because I very often I can see when you move into the Roomba walk, you take a step with your right leg and your concentration goes only on your right leg. And you totally forget about your back leg. And you have to think that this leg is still standing. So I'm gonna help you with that. What timing we have in Roomba? Two, three, four, one, right? On count two, on count three, on count four, we take a step. On count one, is no step, correct? So we're gonna use on count one, our standing leg, uh, leg a little bit longer. Now, we're gonna use one exercise. Stay on your uh, left foot, yeah? Everyone transfer body weight on the left foot. Now, we're gonna take a step with our left, uh, right leg forward and try to keep your two heels still on the floor. Yeah, your body weight 50-50. Now, we're gonna use our back foot. Four counts, two counts, we're gonna lift our heel up. One, two, but keep super strong ball on the floor. That's right. Number, uh, um, the next two counts, we're gonna point our foot in the back and we're gonna rotate our foot. One, two. So we achieve the very, very uh, extended back leg. Correct. Now we take another step again. Keep your two heels on the floor. Yes. And now we're gonna use one, two, three, four. Two first counts, heel up. One, two. Now three, four. Point and rotation. And one more time. Take a step. Back foot, heel up. One, two. 
Now three, four, point and rotation. One more time. One, two, heel up only. And now three, four, point and rotation. Still super, super straight leg in the back. One more time, take a step and one, two, heel only, yes, lift your heel up. And now three, four, super point foot in the back with the rotation. And again, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four. Three, four, and one, two, three, four. Very, very good. That will help you to control your body weight, body weight transferring much, much better. So we're not, when we take a step, we're not throw our body weight right away on the front leg. Yes, we still have to think about our back leg, and you should think that it's your standing leg, not the front leg, but your back leg. So when we have count two, three, and count. I'm sorry, count two, three. We're gonna use only four counts, yes? So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. But then when we step on count four, you know that our four, one is uh, two long uh, counts. We're gonna use eight counts. So four counts, we're gonna lift our heel up. One, two, three, four. And still push to that ball of your back foot, that's right. And now another four counts, maximum rotation and point foot. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. And now again, we have two counts. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And now we have count four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So Erica, I will challenge you on count four, one. We have longer body, uh, footwork action. We have eight counts. So when you step on count four, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You work this foot much, much longer than with the count two and three. Yes? Let's try one more time. And so two steps with the four count timing and one step on count four with the eight count time and one two three four one two three four one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four one two three four one two three four five six seven eight very nice Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very, 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 very good. Now, this exercise, it doesn't mean that you have, when you dance your rumba, you have to count all those counts. Yeah? <clears throat> this is just as an exercise, it's amazing because it helps you to feel your back foot and the body weight transfer from foot to foot much, much better. It doesn't mean that you, when you dance competition or you're doing your performance in Roomba, you have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so it's just as an exercise, it's very, very good. Okay, so we will try right now with the music and you will show me better connection with your standing like with your back foot and try to time it and try to constantly think when you step forward, you shouldn't think about your front leg. You should think about your back foot, how you push from the ball to your toe and you make it the rotation. Okay, let's try with the music.
the difference between the first time you show me and right now.